BMW and Epic Games celebrate long-standing technological partnership. The use of innovative technologies and strategic partnerships provide a crucial competitive edge, especially in the digital age. The BMW Group was well aware of this fact as early as 2016. The company became the first automotive manufacturer worldwide to join forces with the computer games industry. Epic Games Unreal Engine was coupled with the virtual reality technology to create a new and innovative development methods and tools that are now used in many design and work processes. This user experience development technology has already been presented to a wide general audience at CES 2019, where the BMW Vision iNext on display there at the time invited visitors to take a virtual test drive. Important elements of the new BMW iX's design evolution were thus realized from the outset with the game engine, which also played a decisive role in the planning for the new BMW i4 plant. Many BMW dealerships and branches already offer virtual vehicle inspections and test drives. Unreal Engine was also used for the launch of the new BMW iX in the next-gen digital broadcast. Using Unreal Engine's virtual production tools, new technology that has primarily been used in Hollywood to date. The all-electric vehicle was presented in an innovative setup called the Cave. The iNext, well, it's going to be a great car. Yeah? I think um, from the connectivity perspective, um, we're going to be the first ones to have first premium OEMs to have 5G in it. Um, it's going to be, um, yeah, what shall I say, it's going to be a managed device. It's going to have a lot of new functionalities. Um, it's going to have a lot of connected functionalities. So we as BMW, we put the first electronic sim into a car in 2016, so we've had it for about four years. And in total, we've got around about 14 to 15 million connected cars already. So connectivity is really at the moment the, the heart of the vehicle to get everything working. You, know, you need it for automated driving, you need it for cloud services, um, you need it for, I don't, for downloading movies, watching movies, um, you need it for all different safety features, etc. So vehicle connectivity for me is like the enabler and the platform for the car of the future. So that's why I really, really enjoy doing my job. Why do we need 5G in a BMW car? We need 5G because of three main pillars. The one thing is the data throughput, which you really need for the INK services, information and communication services, so for movie downloads and fast music streaming, etc. So you need a lot of data throughput, which 5G is going to offer. You need low latency, so the latency is going to get very, very low with 5G, meaning we can do a lot of uh, automated driving, you can have a lot of services which you can then experience in real time. Yeah? Um, and the third main pillar is the whole uh, safety aspect of 5G. So 5G will also be bringing lots of safety features with a new technology called cellular V2X. So V2X is V to everything, yeah, the X stands for everything, you can, have a v you can have a vehicle to an infrastructure, vehicle to vehicle. Um, vehicle to a mobile phone, for example. Um, and this whole cellular V2X safety technology is also something which is going to get very important. Well, the car collects the data through different mechanisms, um, and then it transfers the data via the back end. So the car, our vehicles have a mobile network connection to our IT back end, where they transfer the data, and this IT back end can then send this data to all our fleets, all our cars in the fleet. And this is how we exchange the data.